NISAR is uh, an amazing watershed mission with two powerful radar systems, one built by NASA, one built by ISRO, that will map the Earth every 12 days two times from two different vantage points, give, giving us incredible detail on the motion of the Earth, the changes in the ecosystems, and the changes in the cryosphere. It's really the first-of-a-kind mission, and because it's radar and it measures day-night and in all weather, it provides reliable data for the global community for all kinds of applications, from disaster management, agricultural uh, crop health, uh, forest management, as well as many, many scientific endeavors. It's, it was such a, an incredible honor to be there yesterday at the launch and observe the amazing GSLV take our satellite into orbit. And when is it is open, this uh, data can be available? Okay, well, open data is extremely important for science. When we're looking at global problems, we need data everywhere. And the world is changing very rapidly all the time from natural causes and from what people are doing to the earth, agricultural monitoring, forest, forestry, and that kind of thing. So it's extremely important that the data is available everywhere so that people can uh, use it for these purposes that, uh, that I described. So the data is available for the instrument that NASA built, the L-band radar, at the Alaska Satellite Facility uh, through their web interface, very easy to get to and very easy to access the data. The data for the S-band ISRO instrument will be available at Bunidi uh, through the ISRO portal uh, at NRSC, the National Remote Sensing Center, and that is also freely and openly available through a similar web interface. This is going to be a watershed mission and access to everybody is excellent.